welcome to the grand finale of the fifth post-colonial higher education conference proceedings at Habib University, the architect of which uh, Dr. Noman Nakvi is sitting amongst us in the audience. <laughs> this performance marks, uh, amongst many things, uh, a hopeful uh, endemic uh, I cannot think of a, a better way to celebrate my own birthday. <laughs> Let me begin by introducing myself. I'm Yusuf Kerai, and uh, I try to be the founding director of the Center for South Asian Music at Habib University. This center is really um, a very unique feature amongst many other unique features at Habib University, uh, including its liberal core curriculum. And the dedication to, to having a reparative response to the systemic erasure of the arts, and that to South Asian arts. And it's unfortunate that we have to now make that distinction within South Asia that there is something like South Asian music instead of just music. I will not call this music classical because that also is a post-colonial construct inherited. Before the British Raj, there was just Sangeet. It included everything. There's no such thing as Sufi music. There's music. Sufis tend to liken to it as do many others. And today is an extra special day because we, um, we get to feature an art form amongst many of the other dance forms uh, in South Asia that where music had a systemic erasure or near erasure, dance had an eradication. And, um, and I think it's, it's really profound that today on stage you will have people from Karachi, from Lahore, within Karachi, from various parts, from Rajasthan, settled in Karachi. And the great Farayas mean Sheikh, California based Kathak dance artist who is taught by Pandit Chitresh Das, um, a great guru of Kathak dance. I'll begin by introducing the musicians with me on stage. <clears throat> Next to me is the great Islamuddin Mir Sahib on the harmonium. <clears throat> and to speak to his versatility, he's a violin instructor here at Habib University in the Khwaja Mashukullah music room and uh, boasts the highest number of students in enrollment. Um, uh, but today you'll get to hear uh, another baj of his on the baja. Next to him is Muhammad Azaz Sohail, all the way from Lahore. And the unique feature of Muhammad Azaz, amongst many other unique features of this performance, is that he has never physically met his guru who is Pandit Ajay Chakrabarti from Calcutta and has only learned from him online. And you will see, for those of you that are ever complaining about online learning and its demerits, oh, we'll show you. <laughs> and then, of course, our uh, star sitar player, uh, the son of Ustad Sajid Hussain, also an esteemed instructor at Habib University. Sheroz Hussain is um, gifted not only with uh, or privileged not only to carry forward a tradition dating back to uh, Mia Tan Sen. He belongs to the Senia Gharana uh, of Tan Sen, Senia Gharana of music. And um, has been training not only as a sitar player but also has a magnificent voice and is going to be gracing us with that voice um, in this performance as well. Yes, we have two vocalists on stage, and they're getting along. 
Sheroz has also uh, been the composer for the Habib University anthem, an anthem created in three different rags. And I think it's an incredible accomplishment um, to have such a young uh, performing artist to have um, composed that. The anthem was written by our very own uh, Professor Inamullah Nadeem Sahab, who's also amongst us. I'd like to actually begin with thanking everybody in making this event possible, because once we begin the music and, and the dance, uh, we would like not to disturb um, the performance with any um, irrelevant speeches. First of all, I'd like to thank um, the administration of Habib University for not only giving us this opportunity to celebrate um, music, to celebrate uh, the month of um, uh, where Holi is celebrated, uh, to celebrate the diversity and the richness of South Asian uh, arts. I'd like to thank the music room manager of the Kwaja Mashukula music room, Chandu Lal Saab, if you can please make yourself visible. He's the backbone of the way uh, all of the proceedings of the music room run. 150 students being scheduled every semester to learn sitar, tabla, violin, and vocal. It's a, it, this could not be achieved uh, without the incredibly efficient uh, logistics provided by Chindulal. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Nadeem Bhai and his team for providing us not only incredible sound, but incredible moral support as well. Uh, that usually doesn't come with a sound engineering package, the moral support part you have to. Thank you, thank you so much. Let me tell you that, uh, you know, I mean, we, we tend to just treat people like uh, they, they serve just this one function. But I need to make this, this very, uh, this mention that, you see this, this purple chandni that we're all sitting on? And when Nadeem Bhai saw that, you know, we're always in need of this purple chandni whenever we have an event, he actually went and got us a whole uh, thaan of purple chandnis and, and said, this is my donation to the Center for South Asian Music. So thank you so much, Nadeem Bhai. Vakas and his team in IT, Marketing Communications Department, all of you have been very, very supportive and helpful. Uh, the security team at Habib University. Uh, the center coordinator whose wonderful poster designs you've been enjoying and who has never really been mentioned in any of them, Fatma Nurayan, thank you. The wonderful photograph taken of uh, Faraya Asmin Sheikh was uh, by um, uh, Brooke Duffy. Uh, and so that's uh, credit where it's due. Daniel Ahmed who is a co-conspirator in, in helping develop uh, such a refined curriculum at Habib University. Habib University is also one of the few universities that's offering courses for credit in South Asian music, uh, both in theory, history, and practice. Well, not both, but all three um, er areas. And um, it could not have been possible without esteemed faculty like Daniel Ahmed. So thank you so much. And finally, um, of course, my parents, my Ustadji. This is the first birthday I'll be celebrating without him in this world. So um, I'd like uh, a moment of silence for remembering Ustad Khushid Hussain. And of course, I may have forgotten some names and I'm uh, particularly uh, apologetic if I have forgotten any names. I have been busy remembering Toras and Tukras for this performance. And so I really need to have those uh, with me. But finally, of course, my mother-in-law for giving me this wonderful kurta that you see me wearing right now. So thank you.
I've had the privilege of working with uh, Faradidi now for the last six years and um, I'm lucky to have been working with such an experienced uh, Kathak dancer who's taught me a lot and us all a lot and I think whenever she comes to Pakistan and she does very often which is also uh, a great uh, privilege she always brings all of us together in ways and, and that's, I think that's, that's something to remember about dance itself it will always bring uh, the best elements together we begin with Rag Darbari in a tal, a 10 beat cycle called Jhab Tal you don't have to worry about counting he'll be keeping time for you but the bowl of Jhab Tal go like this Dhin Na Dhin Dhin Na Dhin Na Dhin Dhin Na 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 Just remember that groove and you should be okay
Assalamualaikum. Adab. Di. Na. Di. This opening section, as you heard, it's in a 10-beat cycle. Chaptal. We begin with bol parad, the syllables of the dance, of the music, through recitation, followed by execution, through movement, and the tabla. First, a tatkar ki bandish. Tatkar is the basic footwork of kathak. The bol, ta te te ta, ra te te ta. This composition, based on those bol, has to fit in the given rhythmic cycle. Ti, na, di, ta di, di. Ta ta te, di gra di di te. Ta ta te, di gra di di te. Ta ta te, di gra di di te. Ta te, ta te, a te. Ta te, 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 ta ta. Da gra di gra na, 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 da. Ta ta, da gra di gra na, 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 da gra di gra na. Ginti. What's fun about this ginti? It's poetry in motion. I'll be counting upwards to eight and then backwards from eight. I'll do that with eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eto tincha panche satar at sache pancha dinto e eto tincha panche sa sache panch tar dinto e eto tincha panche che panch tar dinto e eto tincha panch pancha dinto e eto tincha cha dinto e eto tin dinto e eto to e e e na. If it does not come on the sum, the first beat, we must do it again. You may not know, but we do, so we have to do it again. Everything we've shared 
has been pure dance, or nrt. We're now going to take you into a little bit of what we call nrtya, combination of drama and expression. An imagery composition. Imagine a woman adorning herself, placing her makeup, her jewelry, her hair, waiting for her love to arrive. But she realizes he's late because he's been with someone else. So it's the emotions of a woman anticipating and then feeling betrayed. She doesn't need him. B. Da 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 da
piece that we are performing uh, is basically uh, a Dhanakshari Tumri. Uh, now the Dhanakshari Tumri comes from Lucknow and the specialty of this Tumri is that it is performed in a classical theka. This Tumri is being performed in Tintal and I would like to give you a little insight about the Tumri we are performing so that uh, you can understand it better. So this Tumri basically is uh, coming from the celebration of Holi, the color festival. And this Tumri talks about Krishna, who's playing um, with his younger friends, and uh, he's enjoying the festival of Holi, when suddenly he spots his uh, childhood love, um, the youngest of gopis, Radha, in the crowd, where he beautifully throws color onto Radha using a pichkari. And the beauty of this holy, um, the festival is embedded uh, in the tumri um, of how basically Radha is enjoying the festival with Krishna where she laughs, she dances and she is enjoying the holy with him. So, with all of your permission. Mm a tumri in kafi, misha kafi. Just to contextualize a little bit of the dance in relation to what Ezaz just shared with you, this is where we get into a little bit of the bhao, the abhinaya, the expression through storytelling. And also you can see, I'm one person here dancing. And in the tradition of kapak, one dancer has to portray all the characters, regardless of their own gender, regardless of the gender of the characters. We call this concept Ardha Nari Svara, half female, half male. So you'll see me change from Krishna, who's often shown holding the Basuri, to Radha, maybe sometimes pulling her Gungat, sometimes in just a slightly different stance to imply her demeanor. And yes, exactly what Ezaz said. There is joy, but you also have to understand there's a playfulness between Radha and Krishna, the cherchar, the push-pull. So it's a quite deep relationship, but one where she wants the attention, but then she pushes him away. He wants to tease her, but then he wants the affection. So it's a quite lovely dynamic that just speaks to who they are, they were. So please enjoy.
giving them a moment to tune. I want to give a little bit of context to, yes, this is my first time back in Pakistan for about two and a half years. I think we all know the reason why, but it feels so good to be back and to feel so welcomed by so many people I've gotten to know over the years. A little bit of history, my parents were both born pre-partition in Bombay and in 1948 moved to Karachi and so lived here through their childhood into early adulthood, met in college, fell in love, moved to the States, and that's where they started a family. So though I was born there, I've had so many opportunities to come, of course, even as a child. This is second home to me, first home to them. So coming every two, three years as a child, but in 2015, I really, something was calling me to bring this art form that I learned in the States from my Guruji, also from Kolkata, just like Ezaz is. And I had gone so many times with him to India, but something was calling me to connect to Pakistan through the art. And thanks to the love and support of so many people who really championed my presence here in Pakistan, I was able to meet brilliant artists like Yusuf and Shadows right away on the first trip. And this was in 2015. And since, I've had many an opportunity to work with Islam Saheb through their ensemble, Tars group. And just this trip, getting the chance to, for the first time to work with Ezaz. I say all of this because this dance form may not be seen as much as it needs to be in this country. I want to honor those who have been doing it for many years through very difficult political regimes. Nahid Siddiqui, Shima Kermani, so many artists, Bina Javad. And especially being a woman trying to preserve their livelihood, the art, and in and out of Pakistan, but always representing Pakistan. So it's only because of them that I even have an opportunity to be here with you today. But I say all of this because this art form is yours. I was gifted it abroad, but I bring it back here to remind all of us that it is yours. So please treasure the dance forms, the musical forms, the artists as well. So the last time I was here in 2019, we performed at the Fez Festival, and this is the first time we premiered this piece. I think many of you will recognize the piece once I say it, but we premiered it, and I just, I've always fallen, I've loved this, this piece. But to share it, and then always, I always try to research a little bit about it. And the song, Kal Chaudhvi Kirati. What I want to point out is what's very interesting about the song, it's beautiful. The poetry is beautiful, and I'll come to that in a moment. But how do we know it? Most obviously by the great Jagjit Singh, who lived in India. But who wrote the poetry? Ibn Shah from here, Pakistan. And we have so many. This is why we say South Asian music, South Asian dance. We have a shared culture. Don't let these man-made borders tell us otherwise. This music the dance, art in general, we share this. It's neither countries, so please remember that. And we hope, we hope that our rendition of Kaljodri Kirati reaches you, inspires you, moves you. Every time I get to dance this with them, I'm in heaven. I hope we can bring a little piece of that to you. And, and this, this piece is especially for this, this young girl, this six-year-old girl that fell in love with it as soon as she saw Faraditi dance to it. So this piece is for Zara. Right? 
And I should mention, I heard Yusuf at the beginning saying we were going to hear Shadows' many talents, so we welcome Shadows now to be the vocalist on this piece.
tinda, tin tinda, na tin tinda, tin tin tinda, na. Todas tukras. Short compositions. Da tin tinda, na tin tinda, na tin tinda, tin tin. Takadimi, takadimi, thai thai thai. Takadimi, takadimi, thai thai thai. Takadimi, takadimi, thai thai. Takadimi, takadimi, thai thai thai. Takadimi, takadimi, thai thai thai. Takadimi, thai thai. Takadimi, takadimi, thai thai thai. Takadimi, takadimi, thai thai thai. Takadimi, takadimi, da da. Musicians will respond, but it's very improvised. We don't structure it too much. This is where we know how much time we have, but we also let loose. So improvisation, upaj. But what's the root of improvisation? Improve. So that's what we hope every time we do it, even in preparation for it. Riaz, mehenat, kezat.
a tradition taught to me by my Guruji that whenever it's someone's birthday and I'm going to ask you to join me you have to stay standing so ready? happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear you Happy birthday. Like I said, I can't think of a better way to celebrate this. So yes, yes, of course. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you to these wonderful artists. Thank you to such a wonderful audience. After so long, this auditorium has been filled with the joy of music, dance, and your um, non-responsiveness. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you so much for everything.